This is the Fifth Estate, a conversation between young African scholars from the Fort Hall School of Government and Professor Mutahi Nguni. This Sunday, we will give you a riddle, and we will call it the Uhuru Kenyatta 2022 Riddle. Uhuru Kenyatta has gone to Kiambu Market and bought himself a goat, a wolf, and some cabbage. On his way back home, he has to cross the 2022 river to Ishaweri, his village, by boat. And he has to carry the goat, the wolf, and the cabbage. But there is a problem. His small boat can only carry him and one of the three items. This means that he has to leave two of the items on one side of the river as he carries himself and one item to the other side. If he carries the cabbage first, he has to leave the wolf and the goat on the other side of the river. And if he does this, the wolf will eat the goat. But if he takes the wolf to the other side first, he will leave the goat with the cabbage and the goat will eat the cabbage. The question therefore is this, what should Uhuru do? Should he leave the country with the wolf or the cabbage with the goat? And that is the riddle. This Uhuru riddle is a complex succession riddle. How he will cross the 2022 river will be a work of political engineering. Because he cannot leave Ruto with a goat or Raila with a cabbage, this is how he will solve the riddle. First, he will carry the goat to the other side of the river, away from the wolf and leave the wolf with the cabbage. Then he will collect the wolf and deposit it where the goat is, leaving the cabbage alone on the other side of the river. After depositing the wolf where the goat is, he will take the goat back and return it to the opposite side of the river. And because he cannot leave the goat with the cabbage, he will take the cabbage next. Then he will cross the river with the cabbage to where the wolf is and travel back to collect the goat. Once he crosses the river with the goat, he will be reunited with the wolf and the cabbage. Mission accomplished. And this is how complex the Uhuru succession is. He has to contemplate how he will cross the 2022 river without the wolf eating the goat or the goat eating the cabbage. Before we offer a solution to the Uhuru dilemma of the wolf, the goat, and the cabbage, we must give a Gemma political riddle to William Ruto. If a Kikuyu takes a goat to the marketplace and a hyena to the same marketplace, which will attract the crowds, the goat or the hyena? Of course, the hyena will have the crowds. Many crowds chanting, Ruto, 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 but in the end, what will the Kikuyu buyer take home? The hyena or the goat? Kikuyus will buy the goat for Easter holidays, and then they will tell us this. You cannot buy a hyena. You can only rent one. True story. And now I will reveal to the country what the Uhuru Kenyatta riddle is all about. The country is in a crisis of generational succession. Yes, we love Jokom, the Baba man, but he has two holes in his head. And he has told us this. Now Jokom has COVID and he is smoking oxygen, as his latest pictures suggest. Can Uhuru Kenyatta leave this country to him? Is he a wolf? In our view, there is a Kikuyu conspiracy right here. 
Raila is the Gemma candidate with a Nigerian and a Magafuli twist. Allow us to explain this. As we have said, this is a conspiracy theory. It has no truth to it. But if you are a Kikuyu, holding 35% of the vote and threatened by others who want to keep you out of power for 30 years, what would you do? Would you take care of yourself first? Or would you take care of others in the name of democracy and power sharing? This is the half-baked plan for Kikuyus. Whoever they will support will have a Gemma running mate at zero option. And most likely, this running mate will have the head of a coconut. Now, if they support Ruto with a running mate that has the head of a coconut, they will be screwed by Ruto. But if they support Raila using a man with the head of a coconut, they have a chance. Raila is older than the United Nations. And with COVID, two holes in his head, and a staggering health record, statistical evidence suggests that Raila could go the Magufuli way, according to Kikuyu logic. The question, therefore, is this. Between supporting William Ruto, who will live for the next 40 years, and supporting Raila, who has two holes in his head, who is good for Kikuyus? Dear Kikuyus, when Paul the Apostle wrote to the Galatians, he asked them, Dear Galatians, who has bewitched you? Why are you blind? Today, the same letter goes to Kikuyus. They will be out of power for 30 years after Uhuru Kenyatta. What is their plan? If they hold 35% of the vote and are threatened by others who want to keep them out of power for 30 years, what should they do? Should they go for William Ruto or Raila Odinga? In our view, Ruto is like Mze Moi. He will lie to the Kikuyus and then destroy them once he gets to power. It's that simple. But if Kikuyus support Raila, they will be supporting a man with two holes in his head, a 76-year-old man whose political life is slow punctured. If the Kikuyus give Raila a deputy president with the head of a coconut, this man will take over from Raila very quickly, the Magufuli style. In politics, every plan is a plan. If you see a Kikuyu with the head of a coconut becoming Raila's running mate, his Kikuyu coconut head will become president the Magufuli way. This is just a thought. And now, a random thought for the United Democratic Alliance, also known as UDA. The UDA brain box is reading the weather instead of reading the mind of the nation. And this is why. Once upon a time, there was a Matumbo market in Bama Market here in Nairobi. This market had all the meat organs, the kidneys, the lungs, and also the matumbo. And amongst the organs were three human brains. One belonged to Amatatu Makanga. Its price was only 450 shillings. The other one belonged to a university professor from Kenyatta University. Its price was 150 shillings. 
The third brain belonged to a UDA politician from the Hasla Nation, a clever guy from Nakuru. The price for his wheelbarrow brain was 1,200 shillings. When the market woman was asked to explain the disparity, she said this and it's a true story. The brain of the professor is overused. It is like an old mutumba shoe. It can only fetch 150 shillings in a mutumba market. That of the makanga is in a better shape than that of the professor. But it has signs of stress from police harassment. It can only fetch 450 shillings under COVID. But that of the UDA politician will fetch 2,500 shillings. It is as good as brand new, completely unused and hardly switched on. This is why its price is higher. Friends, this is how William Ruto will lose the election.